So this year is a year many believed would divide West Africa. When Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger existed ECOWAS, the region braced for political and digital fractures. But instead of turning away, Ghana did something unexpected. On November 21st, 2025, at the Digital Week in Ouagadougou, Ghana and Burkina Faso signed a historic pact, removing roaming charges completely between the two countries. This was surprising because the backdrop was tense. Earlier that year, the Sahel states had officially withdrawn from ECOWAS after disagreement over sanctions and governance. Trade was disrupted, security cooperation weakened, some feared old partnerships would collapse. But Ghana chose a different path, not isolation but connection. This agreement wasn't political theater, it was about rare people, the traders who crossed that border daily, the family split between the two nations, the students who depend on mobile internet. And Ghana has been building towards this moment. In June 2023, Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire launched the first ever ECOWAS bilateral trade free roaming. People finally used their phones at home race on both sides of the border. In 2024, Ghana expanded eastwards with Togo and Benin. For the first 30 days of travel, zero roaming charges. Then Ghana reached even further, signing with the Gambia over 2,000 kilometers away. The Geta borders no longer matched physical ones. And now the Burkina Faso breakthrough. This agreement makes Ghana the first West African country with free roaming across all eight land borders. And here's how it works. From 2026, when you enter Burkina Faso, your phone connects to a local network. But instead of international charges, you pay exactly what Burkina Bay citizens pay. Local rates, simple and affordable. Joint committees, shared standards and harmonized billings turn this into rare infrastructure and not just MOU. And the impact is immediate. Traders negotiate freely. Tourists share their experiences, students stay connected, businesses cut operation costs, and the digital economy expands. And the bigger picture, this model can extend to Mali, to Niger, and to the entire Sahel region. Rare unity is built through daily connections, not through speeches or summits, but through communication. Ghana and Burkina Faso have shown that political separation doesn't have to mean digital separation. So, in April 2026, the border between Ghana and Burkina Faso will disappear and the connection remains. And that is all for today's episode. Please let us know your thoughts and suggestions on this in the comment section below. My name is Sheriff Harona and this is AS1 Report. Have a joyful life and see you in the next one. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Makrao.